Welcome back to this week's edition of Best Music Live TV, where we have a passion for live music. Coming up, Jermaine Paul takes the win on The Voice, Tom Gable to transition to Laura Jane Grace, looks like dog days aren't over at Radio City Music Hall, Morello and Nurses triumph in Chicago, and more right here on Best Music Live TV. Florence and the Machine has a dog day at Radio City Music Hall, apparently due to the lighting which was set for the broadcast cameras for Fuse TV, but not ideal for normal rock show. The crowd never really connected, nor did the band overcome the slow start, despite the lowering of the lights as the set wore on. Looks like the dog days weren't really over. The National Nurses Union was told earlier in the week that their permits for being pulled after a Tom Morello performance was added to their rally. However, it looks as though they will get to proceed as planned. The mayor's office and NATO backed down because we stood up, Morello said in a statement. This is a great victory for the Nurses Union, the people of Chicago, free speech, and rock and roll. Of course, we're not a security threat to downtown Chicago, but we proudly remain a threat to the moneyed interest who's failed to stifle us. Sounds like they all have a bad case of stick it to the man eosis. Jermaine Paul takes the win on the second season of The Voice, which is Blake Shelton's first win as coach. I just want to say thank you to everybody that supported me from day one said Paul through the tears. The more entertaining part of the season was the animosity of Christina towards Tony Luca and the subtle digs back and forth, like 99 problems and you ain't one, and the comment about real man. That was entertaining. The biggest story this week is Tom Gable of Against Me announcing in an interview with Rolling Stone about becoming Laura Jane Grace. What artists do with their personal lives is their business, and typically it's RMO not to cover that type of thing as it does not pertain to the music. In this case, it might. She said in the, in the interview that I have been taking hormones, estrogen, but it doesn't affect your voice. Other procedures that might, she's hesitant to undergo. We'll see how the transition will affect the band and the music and their fans. In other news, Paramore have revealed that former Beck Nine Inch Nails bassist Justin Johnson, who produced M83's Hurry Up, We're Dreaming, will be producing their fourth record. Looking forward to that. French dance producer Anthony Gonzalez, aka M83, will play Edinburgh's Picture House on June 27th and London Brixton Academy on November 8th. Check that out if you get a chance. Beastie Boys were hit with the lawsuit and a backlash of media came in the wake of MCA's passing. It came to light, however, the suit was filed one day before Adam Yelk's death. The record label is suing the rap group over allegedly undeclared samples on four of their early tracks. They later issued a statement of condolences to Adam's family and friends. Mm, bad timing, I would say. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms. You guys rock the most. New releases this week include Silver Sun Pickups, Neck of the Woods, Damon Alburn, Dr. D, Keen, Strangeland, Carmen, Hello, John Five, God Told Me To, and Sean Carey, Hoyas. Well, that should do it for this week's edition of BML TV. Follow us on Twitter at Best Music Live. Like us on Facebook.com slash Best Music Live. Subscribe to our channel up here and download your flavor of mobile app on iTunes, the Android market, and now on Amazon. Until next time, rock on. Thank <laughs> you.